So I'm pretty damn well sure that entitlement is some kind of left-wing virtue at this point, and uh, the past uh, couple of days uh, I've, I've seen this propping up a lot, so I thought we'd talk about it. Uh, to start off, I'll just plug, of course, Friedrich Nietzsche on the genealogy of morals, because I'm sure we'll have something to say about this. Oh, yeah. And uh, as we go oh, forward... Yeah. He absolutely would have a lot to say about this. Yeah. He you, does have a lot to say about leftists. You will, you will see the absolute entitlement of a huge number of leftists, which mm. I, I, just, I, I have a difficulty actually understanding because it is that level of deluded. But we'll go forwards, and we'll start with uh, Elijah Schaefer, who decided to put out this uh, video. And this has got like 20 million views now. Yeah, I saw this going around, because so, it looks like they're doing a tough job. Yeah, so he writes here, why aren't we encouraging our girls to pursue jobs like this? We need true equality. And it's some guys, I, I think they're doing drilling, and uh, it's them filling these clamps. I don't have a damn clue. I don't do a job like this. And, I mean, it uh, looks like a tough job, though. Hats off to these lads, but yeah. we'll play it and enjoy the, the hard work these guys do. So it's the amount of physical effort they have to put into moving these things around. There's a reason to get paid well, I believe. Well, yeah. But that's why. Because yeah. it's got that hard job. But yeah, which is great. I yeah. mean, always, you know. Always nice to appreciate hard work and uh, the bros there enjoying their workflow. Job done well, yeah. Yeah, and uh, the the response to this was uh, a lot of women and uh, not getting it for one. But I, I did find the funniest response of all, which is uh, a lot of the men responding, being like, "Oh, whoa, well, well, come on, look, the women are already doing the job." And uh, I suppose we'll play this and enjoy uh, a female representation of what hard work looks like. Uh, so there's a music video here, and some lady comes up and drills the side of the digger, but not really. And then the other woman just starts hammering the tire, because why? Why the hell would they know what the hell to do? <laughs> like it's it's obvious they don't know what the hell's going on. Just cleaning, it's, uh, whatever. But you know, it's a music video. It's a yeah, good joke. Yeah. I, I enjoy. However, of course, the best responses were from women actually not understanding why men do hard work. Uh, as Elijah found out later, some girl here being like, "Why would anyone want to do this?" Well, hey, you probably need it. <laughs> That's the first thing. It's probably actually quite essential to something in your life. Yeah. I don't actually know what they're doing, you know, pumping oil or whatever it is they're doing. But she's definitely going to be the the uh, at the end of a long chain of events, the recipient of that work. Yeah, but I just I love the the, the confusion of why would men do this? Also, do you not huh. think that they get a sense of satisfaction for a good job well done? Yeah, good salary, hard work, actual you know you feel self proud at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. very much self respect. Also, I imagine that probably gives you a pretty good figure at the end of the day as well, which is a bonus, but we'll mm. be back-breaking. But there we have it, just other confusion about why would you do this? However, uh, the, the funniest one in the last week of just delusion about such work is asked to be James O'Brien. I don't know if you saw this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he decided to put out a statement saying, uh, I think my job is harder than manual labor. On Man LBC. who has never done manual labor has opinions on manual labor. He's Go done on, manual James. labor. He'll let you know. Oh, has he? Let's play. I... I'm going to say something to you now, and you may not like it. I think this job is harder than manual labor. <laughs> I, I genuinely think, at three, I, I don't know what I would compare it to, probably flying an aeroplane without autopilot or being an air traffic controller. He doesn't know I'm being a little bit. Jobs. No, I do actually believe it, actually. I, I'm, I'm not being, I'm not just doing this for, for fun or for provocations. I, I, I honestly think that this job is more exhausting because manual labor, you can do eight hours a day. You could not do this for eight hours a day. Even Steve Allen would struggle to do this for eight hours a day. And if you want to hear effortless, tune in to Steve in the morning. I honestly think what? that I can prove just that this job is more exhausting go. than manual labor, than your job is, if you're listening to me on a building site now, as long as no one's put a brick through the radio yet. I, the producer just texted me to say, have you ever done manual labor, James? To which the answer is yes. Shows how much attention you pay to the programme you produce. Oh, I spent two weeks on a building site in South Yorkshire in 1988. Chess grandmasters need about 6,000 calories a day during tournaments because of this phenomenon. Um, Lewis in Uxbridge is less convinced. I'm sorry, he says, I'm a bin man. I do 20 to 30,000 steps a day. Come and, day a, come and do a day on the dust cart. I bet you can't move at the end of the day. Yeah, right, Lewis. 
but I bet you couldn't do this. I well, just flap my gums for... I mean, he's only on air for, what, five hours? Well, oh, three, uh, three hours, sorry, yeah. Like, I, I just, I can't get over it. I mean, it really is ridiculous. And obviously the right response from everyone is like, shut up, James, <laughs> like, shut the hell up, man. But just the level of ego on him. Like, I know he's become a meme, uh, for people who don't know, like, yeah. he's been hosting the show in England for a while. Yeah. But just the, the point where even his own producer is just texting him being like, Man, this is a bad look. Please stop. <laughs> and then his response is, yeah, shows how much you pay attention to the show. Like, well, throwing your own producer under the bus as well. Been he, like, he went some Oxbridge... He's got some Oxbridge education. So oh, he said, he, yeah, he said, you know, I watched a clip from him a while ago. Going, well, not everyone had the privilege of getting the education I had. It's like, yeah, some of them worked on building sites, James. For more than two weeks, building <laughs> a portal. Uh, <laughs> it's just Honestly, what is wrong with this? Absolute gammon. Yeah, and then someone's saying, well, would you like to come on the dust people? And he's just like, yeah, well, I bet you couldn't do this. It's just, again, the Give level of entitlement and smug and ego is yeah. off the charts. But what's what's compelling him to say this? Like, he sat there in his air-conditioned office being like, God, I am just the best. I'm just so good. <laughs> like, you are just inferior. You couldn't do what I do. I know you do, like, hard work all day. But you couldn't do what I do. I'm just something a cut above you. You see, I mean, this is the attitude. What that's what's compelling him to say this. Like he thinks of himself as being such a sacrificer. Like, I'm just doing the hard I'm work, you. so you aren't bored as you do your dumb manual labour. I'm much Absolute better than you. Animals, your pack garbage. Animals. Exactly. <laughs> like what would what would compel him to bloody say this? I don't know, but there we have it. It's just like endlessly. I'm thinking. I'm just so great. The in, the entitlement is endless, and uh, I, I, with that, I will show you more. Because if we go to the next one here, there's uh, an individual who has since privated his account yeah. for this. Game designer, he, him. <laughs> oh, I'm shocked. What was his take on the world today? How did he wake up and bless us with his wisdom? Most studies of gamer demographics find that men are approximately 55% of the market, which naturally follows that non-men don't know what that is, are about 45% of the market. There is no legit reason why at least 45% of gaming professionals should be non-men. This is a very old feminist canard. Complete meme. Because what they're doing is including things like Candy Crush yeah. in the same category as Call of Duty. But it's the same stupid response as well, mm. being like, Oh, women use the sewers, therefore they should be 50% of the sewer workers. Actually, I'm, I'm all for that. <laughs> that's, that's actually a good idea. We must conscript women to work in the sewers. Yeah, he, he goes on to say, and yet gaming professional demographics don't match our audience. Oh, boo-hoo. You could call the efforts to lift up more non-white, non-men professionals, I, I don't know what a non-man is, uh, to diversify the, the industry, but I call it recalibration. I call it racism. Yeah, you can call the barriers to recalibration many things, but I accurately call them racism and sexism. Don't and, agree. And those systems are supported by folks with well, a lot of power screaming, get politics out of gaming. Like, they literally don't have power if they're getting discriminated against in the workplace. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking brainlet. Like, it's just unbearable. But what, what year are you in? This is literally what they were saying in 2012. It's, you're it, a decade out of date, Eric, and everything you're saying is nonsense. It never dies. But again, the whole thing here is just, look how entitled I am. Yeah. Like, that's the entire post, which is, but you Eric, know, Eric, sorry, just a quick thing. You appear to be a white male. You're occupying a position that a non-man could be occupying. Resign. I'm sure he'd argue the white Fall part. Fall on your sword. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to go out and just say, yeah, everyone's white now, so yeah, leave. But he says in here, I think many folks have no concept of how unscalable effort it takes to change the mind of even one fragile ego who threatens to go right wing when their feelings get hurt. And it's like, okay, great. Right, Keep you, going. You literally said to the white men in the office, you shouldn't have a job. And the white men in the office are like, hmm, I might side with the right wing. They think I should have a job. <laughs> but I am, I'm shocked how that can happen. But again, just the, the level of entitlement. That's all yeah. this is. Uh, I lay in turf blocked. That's what the non man thing was about. Yeah, right. Yeah. He thinks that uh, right. yeah. women aren't women. Yeah. But the obvious response is obvious, of course, as, as just previously mentioned, which is, uh, you know, sewer users, 50% of the market. Sewer professionals, not women, or 50%. Yeah. Something is deadly wrong. But he doesn't care, of course. And uh, the, the male feminist, of course, immediately just uh, retreats upon hearing any kind of criticism. There you have it. Teats are protected. I'm leaving. I'll come back later when I can get away with my entitlement more. But if you get to the next one here, there's just the, the, the other entitlements I've seen, yeah. specifically from feminists in this one. This is a cartoon that was apparently made to try and show how horrible it is as a woman. Oh, how awful. You, get, you get loads of compliments. I've posted That's, this to my Facebook page and everyone's like, man, if someone spoke to me like this, 
I would have such a good day and I'd remember it for decades. Yeah, but also the idea of oh, getting loads of compliments. I'm basically a Jew in the Holocaust. Let's, let's load it up <laughs> just to have a look at this. Some guy gets told, hey man, you look cute. You should smile more. That'd be lovely. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, hello, lovely gentleman. You fit your own computer. You're so smart. That's impressive. You know, you look way too good to be a cashier. Look, these are all lovely things. I mean, like, this is the thing. Women just do not understand. Men just no. do not get compliments. No. Nobody compliments a man. And so if anyone does, a man's like, oh, wow, thanks. But also if men does this to men, you'd think he was gay. So it's just like, it's, yeah. the, it's a social but reason it's for it. women doing it to men, obviously. Yeah, is is even, well, actually, that's way better. If you got a man complimenting you, I wouldn't care. But I would like, thanks, man. I appreciate but, it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, woman compliments. In the stratosphere of compliments. Yeah, the, the, these were gen like I've posted this and everyone was like, "God, uh, I'd remember that forever." Yeah. <laughs> you know that song, uh, "The Day I Die" is the best day of my life. Yeah, just like, I'm imagining that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, but also if we uh, take a flashback to 2020, I mean, just the other levels of entitlement with the left wing movement that just seem to be apparently a virtue. Uh, a little, you know, Pocahontas here. Uh, coming out with her entitlement. This is a clip in which, they're, of course, they're talking about the the debt forgiveness for student yeah. loans. Let's not get into the debate. It's obviously dumb. Yeah. I took queer de feminist dance theory. Why shouldn't I have that for free? Because, so, well, I mean, it is worthless. Not even going to address <laughs> it. But instead, this guy, and this is what I mean by just like the, the best people in society who always get screwed over the worst. Mm. This guy turns up and he mentions the fact that he worked two jobs, he saved the money, he paid off his daughter's student loans, so she didn't have any. You know, they actually saved. Whereas the family next door, they just took out the loans, took multiple vacations, didn't take a second job, and uh, their loans are going to be forgiven. He's not going to get his money back. Yeah. And it's just so unfair. But Elizabeth Warren's response is the best thing. Let's play it. Uh, I just want to ask one question. My daughter's getting out of school. I've saved all my money. She doesn't have any student loans. Yeah, probably. Am I going to get my money back? Of course not. So you're going to pay for people who didn't save any money, and those of us who did the right thing get screwed. Of course we did. My buddy had fun, bought a car, went on vacations. I saved my money. He made more than I did. But I worked a double shift, worked extra. My daughter's work, she was 10. So you're laughing. Yeah, that's exactly what you're doing. We did the right thing, and we get screwed. That's all right. Completely understandable response. Oh, yeah. For people who didn't hear it, he asks, yeah. uh, you know, he's he paid off all our loans. She says, yeah. God bless you. And he says, am I going to get my money back? She says, of course not, with a smile. Yeah. It's just like... You, you are creepy, of, of yeah. all people, to say such a thing and then support this. But the last thing here is just someone making the point, of course, which is uh, the debt will be paid, just not by those who took out the loans. Yeah, That's how it's going to end up going. Instead, it'll be the ones who worked hard who will have to pay off for the people who didn't, mm -hmm. which is uh, the reality of the situation there. And frankly, the, 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 you know, it's, it's not to say that the, the pyramid scheme that is American universities isn't a joke, but mm -hmm. the situation that it's so expensive to go to American university kind of just tells you that it's not worth it. If you appreciated that segment from the podcast The Lotus Eaters, you can go to lotuseaters.com to get access to all the premium content we have on the site, such as the premium videos we do, this one on the politics of four lions. And if you want to follow what else we're putting out, you can follow us on Getter at, at lotuseaters underscore com on Getter. Thank you and goodbye.